It's me, your little boy, Ricky Samson. I have something special, unique for us chosen ones today. You know, they can't stand in your present. You know what I'm saying? You know, majority of us know that there are a lot of people around us that cannot feel comfortable to stay with us. They are scared. They are scared to stay with you. They are st scared to be in your life. They are scared to live with you. Why? Because the anointing you carry tormented them. It, it, it introduces you to them. That is why majority of people out there are always what scared whenever you come around them. Whenever you are across them, whenever you come within them, they are always terrified. Why? Because of the anointing you carry. Because of the grace of God upon your life. Because of the power of God upon your life. Because of the, the, the grace that you carry that make life uncomfortable for them. Trust me. Many of us have come to across some categories of people that we ourselves will be wondering why are they behaving like this? Why is it that they cannot stay even in public what car, in public what a, a bus, in, in public places like restaurant in the market? Some people will just see you either in the first time or maybe you have been friends with them suddenly. They start to misbehave. Maybe before you are not a Christian, maybe before you have not received the Holy Ghost, you do used to do things with them. You got to understand that the moment you receive the Holy Ghost, the moment you receive Christ as your love and Savior, the moment you receive the Spirit of God into your life, many things will start to happen. <laughs> you will start to lose friends. You will just be wondering, what is my offense? What have I done? What is that that I have committed? Why is it that nobody is ready to be around me? Why is it that nobody is ready to be in my life? Why is it that no one is ready to stay? You will just be like funny. It will be like a film. <laughs> it will just be like a film in your eye. You will just be wondering, what is my offense? What have I done? What is that that I have did? that chase people away from me, that make people life become unbearable to stay with me. What is that that I have committed? Does that mean that I have done something that I ought not to do? Or does that mean that I have offended them in one area to another? The main truth is that you have not offended no one. And you, you have not offended none. It is the grace of God in your life that torment them. It is the anointing of God in your life that predicts who stay. It makes life uncomfortable. Because you carry grace that is beyond resisting. You carry the anointing that is beyond their power. That is why they are so tormented. That is why they are so devastated. Because the anointing you carry is too raw, is too powerful, is too unique. It pees them off. It it it, it make life, you know, uh, uh, it, it make life like a fire. Whenever you come, they feed the fire in you. They feed the fire of God inside you. Even without you saying any word, without you pro pronouncing in the name of Jesus, without you pronouncing, that is why when Peter was preaching, when, when Peter was preaching, when he was passing by, ordinarily the shadow of Peter healed the sick because he did not even say the word. That's why even when Jesus was passing by, the devil who were shouting, Have you come to torment us? Even without him saying anything. Even when Jesus was walking with the multitudes, the woman of issue of blood get her own healing. Why? Because the grace you carry, the anointing you carry, introduce you to them. That is why a lot of people will be like, eh, who is coming in this environment? That is why sometimes when you enter into an organization, 
Maybe before you arrive, you will hear them saying a lot of words. You will hear them keep, you know, talking, speaking a lot of things. But the moment you praise and enter, everywhere become calm. Everywhere become so calm as a barrier, as a barrier ground. You just be you just be wondering. Ah, I thought I I, I I I was hearing a voice. I thought people were speaking. What happened? How come they suddenly keep quiet? How come the environment turn to a bare ground? How come the environment is no longer the same environment it do used to? Why? Because your present lock their word, their, their ability to speak. Your present lock their their their, 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 their intention to speak. Why? Because there is something you carry that do or that speak even when you are not speaking. So they are scared to speak, to stay around you because the grace of God is much powerful than what they can do or to resist. May God bless you and remain blessed.